What's up guys, welcome to the channel. In today's video, we're gonna do the mystery tackle box challenge. Um, you guys saw in the last video where I unboxed it and gave my review about the box and the lures that we have inside are the ones we're gonna do a challenge on. So I have four rods rigged up. We have the Booyah Prank, um, the Z-Man Boar Hog. I have it rigged up um, by itself and then I have it on the back of the trailer for the jig, which is the, what was the jig called? Was it Fulda? I don't remember what the jig was called. I have not jack, no, it wasn't the jackhammer. I don't remember what the jig was called at all, so we'll just call it the jig, and we had, the, yeah, by Catchco, Catchco jig, that's what I'll call it. And um, we also have the Cinco's, the Cinco's by Big Bite Baits, and um, am I forgetting something? I don't think so, I think that's all of it. So yeah, the four baits, we got them rigged up on the rod, and I'm headed to the pond right now, and we're gonna try and catch fish on all four baits, one day on one body of water. So it should be pretty easy where I'm going. This place is loaded and we're gonna catch a lot of fish and we're gonna catch a lot of fish on them. But um, that's the goal. We gotta catch, you know, fish on every single bait and see how it goes. Duff out. Keys out of here. Is that the most important thing? You're cool. Trying to put a hook to my brand new seats. Okay, so as you can see, I got the jig tied on with the Z bore or Z, whatever it's called, whatever. And then I got the prank tied on the wacky worm. Let me show you something that's really cool about this wacky worm real quick. Look how they put these little rings molded in with the Senko. That is really cool. So they're not gonna really tear in half if you um, hook a fish and they grab onto it, it won't rip in half. So there's the pond, let's get after okay, it. So we're here at the lake and I'm gonna start off with something that was probably the hardest bait that I feel like is gonna be to catch a fish on. And that's going to be the jig. So there's a lot of grass in here, so I don't know if I'm gonna be able to swim this jig or if I'm gonna just throw it out there because it's just gonna get a lot of grass all over it. It's got that snot grass here stuff. So we're gonna start off with the jig. We'll work our way down to like the top water, the Wacky Rig Senko, and then the uh, Boarhog Z because I feel like them baits are going to be the easiest. So we're going to start with the hardest ones and work our way down. But I know we're about to annihilate them because it's overcast. It's kind of cool out here. Kind of cool afternoon, and it's just it's just it's just about to happen. I got that feeling. It's just going to happen. So let's get right into it already. All right. So starting off with the lumberjack jig um, by Catch Co. Pretty nice. Looks like it's got this little. Um, Kind of got this little pumpkin seed color to it, and then I got the boar hogs on the back for a trailer with little swimming legs. And we're gonna, I think I'm gonna just swim it and just see how swimming it does. This is the first cast. Let's see how this does. The lake looks down surprisingly because it has rained here a lot in the past couple days. Oh, gosh, just had a bite. Throw back in there. God. Dude, that's two bites. I gotta get ready for this one. Alright, so let's just go to the straight to the top water and see how this works out. I don't know how this thing's gonna work out because it's got a diving bill on it, so I've never fished in one of these before. This will be a first. So let's see if they actually like this. Oh no, I don't like this off the bat. I don't like it. You got an idea. I got an idea for this thing. I need to break that bill off. Let me figure out how to break this off real quick. Okay, so I made a little modification. I broke the bill off because it sucks. All it wants to do is just dive. It's not a top water. So let's try it now and see if it stays on top of the water and pops. Oh yeah. Oh yes, sir. Look at that. Oh, it works really good now. Oh my gosh, it's about time. Oh, thank you, Jesus, because man, that was starting to get really annoying. Finally, like they just are really tough and not wanting anything. I don't care. He's a fish. He's got fish DNA. 
and he bit the prank. So guess what? That means the prank's eliminated. Now we're going and oh, okay. We don't see that graphic content. Now he'll be all right. He'll he'll walk it off. Try to redeem itself. All right, so this one should be pretty decent. I mean, this one should be pretty easy. This one shouldn't take long at all. There's one. Dude, as soon as it hit the water. Ah! Sure you guys saw that. Dadgum it. He, like, as soon as it hit the water, it just went... He just took it. I mean, like, I, did, I mean, as soon as it hit the water. There's one. Cool. He's... Woo! Strong little jugger. Hey. Oh. That was quick. I about said finally, but I remembered that, you know, it only took three casts to end that, end that one real quick. Hey, pretty decent little fish, about a pound. On the, on the shimmy stick, big bite bait shimmy stick. Now all that's left is the boar hog Z. I got it weightless right now. And then the jig. I got it weightless because I'll probably get a lot more bites on it weightless than I would with a Texas rig because there's so much grass out here and they just will not bite anything if there's just even a little bit of grass. <clears throat> that was close. About time. Finally. Okay, so there's nothing wrong with that bait, but... It just took me forever because it's I forgot that it sinks. So it just took forever to get a bite on it and I finally just sat it just sat it there and let one come up and just suck it under. Small one, but you can tell us challenges with my butt. Now we're gonna go to the jig. So guys I'm just gonna be honest. This challenge is tough, and especially tough with the baits that I got in the box, but it's working out. It's doing, we're doing pretty decent, so we got everything else eliminated. Um, all we got left is the jig, and I'm going over here on the other side of the pond, going to see what happens, but it's getting pretty tough. The fish ain't wanting to bite too good, so maybe we can get us a pretty decent one here in a few seconds on this jig, so let's get back to it. About time. Eat that here, G. Guess what, guys? That's the end of the challenge. Okay, guys, so that's technically the end of the challenge, but I'm going to keep fishing anyway, just see if I can get anything bigger. But we've done caught a fish on every single bait. It's really tough challenge, honestly, but we're gonna keep going. I'm gonna try and get a couple more fish on this jig because they're biting pretty good now and see what we can come up with. If not, we'll go ahead and end the video, but uh, let's see if we can catch at least one or two more on this thing. Oh yeah. Dude, guys, now they're actually wanting to eat. Once this afternoon bite's kicking in, they look right on top of the mouth. About time. See, now they're eating the jig. I've been, I've been, I've been fishing for like, how long? Like an hour with this thing and have not got a bite. And I come over here to the opposite side where all this grass is, and now I'm getting tons of bites. Oh, jump. I don't want to fix that, but. I'm just going to keep going until I can see how many I can catch on it before before it's time for me to go. I, I got another 
15, 10 to 15 minutes out here, and then I gotta, then I gotta run. But let's just see how many we can end up catching on this thing. That'll be one right there. Somewhere over in here, there ought to be one. Dude. No, 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 no. Don't go nowhere, don't go nowhere. No, 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 no. About lost him. That's fish number three on the jig. Dude, they are, they're eating it now. It's crazy, they're eating it now. So just caught fish number three on the jig. It's crazy how they're eating it now. And earlier they weren't eating it at all. So it's been like an hour and I finally started getting bites on it. It's probably cause all this grass I'm fishing out here, but I'm gonna fish my way back to the truck cause I gotta be gone here in the next five to 10 minutes. But this challenge is tough. I challenge you guys to try the same thing. Go get you a mystery tackle box, go to a body of water, that you have confidence in, that you can catch a lot of fish, and try to catch fish on every single bait that's in the box, man. It's it's pretty tough, honestly. Um, especially tough right now because it's summertime and it's super hot out here, and these fish ain't biting too well. But I challenge you, go to get you a box, try it out. Mystery Taco Box Challenge, man. Try it out. Okay, guys, so I'm going to end the video here. Definitely was a challenge. Finally, after hours, got the bites and what I needed to complete the challenge. But I challenge you guys to go get your own mystery tackle box, take the challenge with all the baits, try to catch fish on every single one of them, and see how it turns out and see how you like it. But if you enjoyed the video, like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and check out Mystery Tackle Box. And I'll see you guys in the next one.